All right, ready? Welcome back to the Wicked Kitchen, guys. Today I am gonna do a real-time hoisin tofu, uh, vegan hoisin tofu. So real-time meaning I'm gonna cook it in real time with no cuts. So we have three cameras and one above, and we're just gonna crack on. And I'm gonna do this as fast as possible to show you how quick and easy it is to cook plant-based when you're in a rush. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is get everything laid out in front of me. Just kidding, you don't have to do that. But just to show you how fast this is gonna be, I have broccoli, I have tofu, I have some chickpeas, and I have some spinach. It's gonna be a, a high shredder style meal. If you follow Nimai, which you can check out this link below, he is a vegan bodybuilder and he's been teaching me a little bit about the difference between bulking meals and shredding meals. So if you're into the fit side of eating things plant-based, um, this would be more on the shredder side. So I'm gonna start by lighting this cast iron pan. As you know, I'm a huge fan of cast iron and I gotta get it ripping hot. All right, it's gotta be really hot. So to start off with, I have a bowl and I got the tender stem broccoli. It's just one uh, package of tender stem broccoli. I'm just gonna add that right to the bowl for now. And I'm gonna play with opening the oil. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil just to coat a little bit of seasoning on here. And what I'm gonna do with the seasoning is a little pinch of granulated garlic and a pinch of granulated onion, a pinch of salt, which is like a quarter of a teaspoon right there, and then maybe a pinch of uh, black pepper. And I'm just gonna stir this just to coat it, all right, very nicely. Guys, I tend to cook this a lot. It's very easy, it's super quick. I just wanna coat the broccoli. And then I have here a nice little pan with some parchment paper. Huge fan of the parchment paper, very easy cleanup. I'm gonna just lay this out very nice and neatly. And we're gonna end up roasting everything on here at the same time. It's gonna be perfect. So do, do, do. Try to get them all the same way. Just, this is me. You can throw them on here if you like, but I like to assemble everything. It's photo worthy. And it's just, you know, if it looks better, it tastes better. So we're just gonna set this aside. I'm gonna wash my hands quick. Okay, so we got the knife. We got the tofu here. It's one block of extra firm tofu. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna cut it in half again, and then I'm gonna separate the two halves like that, and then I'm gonna cut it into thirds. So they're pretty large cubes, okay? It's gonna go right in that bowl that I had the broccoli with. And one great thing about cooking plant-based, there's no cross-contamination, and I say it over and over again in so many other episodes, it's just one of the perks. You don't have to worry about getting sick and cross-contaminating with some animal product that you had in there that's not, yeah, it's just a different way of cooking. It's a much better way to cook plant-based. So we have this on here. So a little bit of oil just to coat the spices and seasoning. And I'm just gonna toss that to get the oil around there. And then I'm gonna use this pork seasoning you could use chicken blend seasoning. There's no meat in it, it's totally vegan. It's just a blend of sage and onion, a little, some dried peppers and stuff like that. So I keep shaking it. I'm gonna hold it for you for a second and I will kick it up my time and here I go. Okay, so I'm gonna use a good tablespoon of that. This is gonna be the base seasoning, All right? To give it that nice flavor. And then the hoisin will work perfectly on it when it's all done. So I'm gonna take this now, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan, and we're gonna sear this tofu off. This is one of the best ways to cook tofu when you're in a rush, and it's the best tasting. I can guarantee you, when you try it, you're gonna be amazed. I've gotten so many comments and messages like, how do you cook the tofu, how do you cook the tofu? This is the way that you cook tofu. So if you want to impress other people with your tofu cooking skills, use this method. So a little bit of oil, coat it with the seasoning, and then right into the to the whip, wicked hot, ripping hot, however you want to say it, cast iron pan. And then I just make sure that oil's going around nice. 
And now I know the hot spots in this pan are on the edges, so I am gonna move everything to the edge, okay? Ooh, look at the little piece of broccoli escaped. What's going on there? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is wait for this. This is the time where we wait. And then while we're waiting, I'm gonna clean up because cleanup is part of the whole real-time thing. I'm just moving on this over here. So because I'm in a stage kitchen, my sink isn't normally but isn't behind me, so I can't just wash up as I go. So just let's pretend I'm washing up those dishes because it takes five minutes to clean up. Rather than wait until you're done cooking everything and then you have this big mess, just clean as you go. It's a good practice. It's a great way to, to practice mindfulness and you know all that fun stuff. So this is searing nicely. What I want to do now, right, I want to use this pan right afterwards. We're going to put it in the oven. We're going <laughs> to, I'm thinking way, I'm thinking way too far ahead of myself where I'm getting, I like to be doing something and when something's cooking, it's just hard for me to just sit here and wait. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call my brother because that's going to take another minute. So hold on one second. Let me see if he's around. I'm gonna take this tofu now. Instead of having fun cooking, you know, I should be really serious. And show you how. Let's just flip this tofu over like this. And that's looking great. It's getting some nice color on there. Take your time, flip them over. I want to get both sides seared. And you know what I want to do, you guys, is to make this happen even faster. I'm just going to add the broccoli right to here because that's the way I want to do it today. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. And now I said I'm going to do hoist, hoist in, right? Which I will. But I'm going to put this broccoli in here like this. And then I'm going to take the hoist in sauce and I'm going to put the hoist in sauce in this bowl. And then I'm going to take the tofu and just drop it right in here. I want to do this in somewhat of a rush and still have an amazing quality food. I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to add the spinach. And we're going to cut this like this. Awesome. So, stir up the tofu. I'm going to add the chickpeas right to this. Awesome. So the chickpeas will have the nice hoisin sauce on there. All I did with the hoisin sauce was take one jar of pre-made hoisin. Right? Nothing special. I bought it at the store. I bought it at Tesco if you want to know. It's where I work. If you didn't know that. It's where I work right now. So this is done. That's going. Move this, move this. Make sure this is not burning. Oops. Flip that. Spinach is getting there. You guys, it's so easy to cook veg, like. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. I mean, as long as it gets cooked and you like it, I think it's fine. And I just love that pop of green, so pop of green, not pop of green. I want the spinach to wilt a little bit. And you could steam it, but you know what? I couldn't be bothered today. I'm in a rush. 
and I want to still eat healthy. I want to make it to the gym or home from the gym, whatever I'm doing. And I'm just showing a good way to do it. <laughs> Try to keep it in the pan. You can get a little messy. I'm just having some fun with it. Mm, done, 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 done. Popping the chickpeas and the tofu right on here. All right, so that looks good. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Run to the sink. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. This is looking good. Now, now I'm gonna put this back on the pan, like I was saying before. And it's just gonna be one load of amazing popping green of the broccoli and the spinach. It's nice. Color is amazing. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I did preheat the oven, which I forgot to tell you, to 200 degrees Celsius. Right before I started, I kept that nice and warm. And so this is when it comes out, completely finished. And I can just plug it up. Let's turn this off. Oops. Pick up that in a second. Put it in. All right, so I am going to wipe up the Oh, change your oh, change can stay wrong. Technical difficulty. Never end. I never end. So I'm gonna take care of the pan too. If I can do this while he's doing that. So it'll take less than 10 minutes in the oven. Less than 10 minutes in the oven. And again, quick cleanup of the pan, you guys. Right. Touch a, a, just a drop of oil. Every time I use the pan, I use just a drop of oil. Rub that around. It also helps clean it. I didn't really do too much to it. And that pan is done. It's clean. It's ready to go. Pick up what I dropped on the floor. Throw that away. Make sure the tongues are clean. Pick up anything around. That I want to clean up and just have done with. So we're gonna do that. If I set a goal of 30 minutes or less, we got it. I'm a huge fan of chili peppers. If you follow us on Wicked, you know I like spicy, bold, vibrant, in your face colored food and spice. I just love it. So I am gonna have some of this for garnish, whoops, and then some for sliced. Now, obviously, if you don't like spice, don't eat it. But I do. And so I'm gonna eat it hot. For some reason, to me, it's like having a cup of coffee and a jolt, and that's, it just livens me up. It just, it wakes me up. It's, it makes my mouth water. I love it. So this and this is done and ready. I'm gonna find a proper plate to plate it on. How about this bowl? It seems to be standard run around around here. I have some fresh herb in the fridge. So I have some fresh cilantro. And that's plenty. And what was I gonna say? Oh, so you notice I walked to that fridge over there. And just in case you didn't know this about this kitchen, that fridge over there is where all the food is. This one right here is where all the magic is. So we have a full freezer, fridge full of beer and wine. So it's like the golden door. So that's looking pretty good. Let's check the oven. It's happening. I can't make it cook any faster. But what I can do is talk to you guys about going plant-based. If you're new to going plant-based, I just want you to know that it's super easy and you can get all your vitamins and nutrients and health-wise aspect. I mean, it is scientifically proven to be the healthiest diet on the planet and it only helps save the planet. And 
it helps because it doesn't cause any suffering to animals. And that is one of the major reasons why I cook this way and why I eat this way, is because I wanna show and share with you that we don't need to kill animals to live a totally indulgent, thriving lifestyle, especially with food. Yeah, so I did, that's my little rant for the day. So let's pull that out of the oven. It's been in there good. Would you say that's been in there 10 minutes, guys? How long do you think? Close, close to 10 minutes. It's hot. Get the sauce hot. There you go. Ooh, the broccoli's seared. So we expedited that process when we did the, the broccoli on the stove. And there we have the pan dish. So I'm gonna just follow up with this on the side, oops. So take some care to make yourself a nice plate. It really does help aesthetically. I just like doing round, if I'm using a round plate, I like to go around. Oops. It really takes two seconds. And I love the broccoli. Um, this is gonna be enough for me for at least two meals, at least. Spinach on the bottom there, which is going to be great. Spinach bread. Okay. Spoon. Chickpeas on the bottom. Super nice. The toysin smells delicious. And then I'm going to just put the tofu. Good amount. Right on the top. It's hot. Okay, so now I'll make sure I wash my hands after this. Put in a little bit of the chili peppers. A little bit or a lot, whatever you want. I like a lot, so. And there you guys have it. How much time have we got? 18 minutes, not bad. I don't dilly-dally with this whole garnishing bit. So there you guys go. There is my hoisin tofu, uh, real time, oh, real time hoisin tofu. And I'm gonna do this and uh, see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining Wicked Kitchen and towel drop. I'm cooking this tofu. I'm doing a real time show. You are on camera. Well, I'm on camera. You're not on camera. Their phone's on camera, but they can imagine you. No, 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 I lost that weight. I am not that big anymore. Yeah, no. All right, dude.